morning you guys welcome to my fall morning routine <clears throat> i'm currently actually a little bit sick i couldn't sleep last night and i kind of knew it was coming on <clears throat> and and then it just kind of hit me today but yeah so this is my cozy fall morning routine while i'm sick um i really hope i get over this fast but i feel like there's something going around but it's okay it's just like the universe um, telling me that my body needs more rest. But I still want to film this morning routine for you guys because I do want to still like try to do as much as I can. It's just going to be a little bit more slow. But yeah, so I'm just going to be bringing you guys along my morning specifically for fall. Fall is honestly like one of my favorite seasons just because of how cozy it is. And I just love when the leaves change colors. It's so pretty. And I just love the fall fashion as well. And the weather is so nice. But yeah, so I just woke up and I put a sweater on because my house is usually cold when we wake up. Just because I like having a colder house rather than having it hotter. Because feeling like being cold and getting to put like a hoodie on or something is a lot more cozy than you being hot in the house. So I definitely like always keeping my house um, on the colder side. So I definitely like to throw on like a hoodie or something when I wake up. But yeah, so welcome to my fall morning routine. It's gonna be cozy. Hopefully this gives you guys some inspiration and motivation. <laughs> So I basically already drank it, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly before I finish it. But this is what I've been drinking every morning first thing after I wake up. It's from Bio Optimizers, and it has like a lot of good things in it. It has like bone broth and then a couple other things that are really good for you in it. So I have this first thing just so that I can kind of cleanse my system. But yeah, I just like to have water first thing to hydrate myself. And it just makes me feel really good so one of the first things that i like doing in the morning is going on my laptop just to check to see what i have to do for the day by the way do you guys like my fall background isn't it so cute but anyways so to plan out my days and stuff i like to use notion um i will literally convert you guys because it is so good like i'm obsessed with it but yeah so i just look through my notion and then i have like all my to-do lists on it for the day and everything so it's all planned out on here but then after doing that i'll go through my emails and just kind of get back to my manager for some brands and stuff and sort all that first thing in the morning <laughs> gonna move into my yoga and my meditation every single morning after i drink my water look through my emails and do all of that i like to put on like a workout set so that it motivates me to go and get some exercise whether that's a walk sorry my phone's going off but whether that's a walk whether that's the gym or whatever it is putting on athleisure wear first thing just motivates me like okay you already have it on so you have to go <laughs> But yeah, sometimes it's hard to stay motivated, to be honest. So I love doing yoga in the morning and just like stretching out because if I don't stretch out in the morning, I feel so stiff throughout the day. And instead of like waking up and plopping myself right on the couch first thing when I wake up, stretching out just makes my body feel so much better throughout the day because I do work from home and I'm on my computer a lot just sitting down. So doing some stretching before that and some exercise, it just really helps my mental sanity and my body feel good because i just feel so stiff if i don't do it but yeah so that's the first thing that we're gonna do and then i'm gonna go into my meditation which i love doing it just like clears my head and it kind of starts me on like a blank slate for the rest of the day meditation just helps me really connect to my inner self my inner being and god source or whatever the universe and it helps me just really let go of everything and it just starts my day off on the right note so if you guys have never tried meditation i would definitely suggest trying it out at least but yeah so those are the two practices that I make sure to do every single morning and that keeps me on track. So yeah, let's start our yoga. <laughs> Here's my little fit that I put together 
to go on our little hot girl autumn walk. So I'm just wearing this um, workout set. It's from Revolve. I'll link it down below if I remember. This jacket is also from Revolve and I'm obsessed with it. It's just such fall vibes and the weather is like perfect right now to be wearing exactly this. So I just have on my little purse here. Yeah, this is my little fit and I honestly feel really cute in it. And it's making me feel a lot better about being sick because honestly just putting a cute outfit on just makes me feel that much better. And this is just giving me all the fall vibes right now. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so I just got to the park. I am just going to do a walk today. Obviously, I'm not going to go to the gym, first of all, because my body would not hate me if I did that. Second of all, I'm not going to go infect other people. So we're just going on a nature walk today um, where I can breathe in some fresh air. Yeah, this will be good for me. I'm not going to walk for too long just because I don't want to exert my body too much but i'm just gonna do probably like a 15 20 minute walk maybe a 25 minute we'll see we'll see how i'm feeling but i'm definitely not gonna push myself and walk too much just because of how i'm feeling but i think that this will be good for me so yeah usually in the mornings i always do some form of exercise whether it's a walk gym um or 12 3 30 so normally what i'll do is on monday wednesdays and fridays i'll go to the gym so i'll make the gym three times a week and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll either go out for like a nature walk if it's nice outside. So a lot of the time this year, it's actually raining. So I'm unable to like go on a walk outside in the rain. So I only go for a walk if it's nice outside. But if it's not, then I just use the treadmills in my apartment gym. And I just do 12 3 30 on there. And I love 12 3 30. It's super good. And definitely what i'm going to be doing for the majority of the winter since i'm not going to probably be able to do nature walks anymore just because the weather is going to probably get really shitty but but yeah so i do try to aim for the gym three times a week but yeah but i don't think i'm gonna be going to the gym at all this week because i'm just gonna let my body heal and rest so yeah let's go walk have a good time hopefully get some fresh air in these lungs and this jacket is just so cozy it also has so many pockets you guys it has this inner pocket here two of them on each side which is huge and then it has these two outer pockets here so it's just filled with pockets i love it so much it's so cozy <laughs> So I just got out of the shower. I feel so much more clean and better now, but I can't wait to make a tea and I'm gonna make some pumpkin pancakes, but I just wanted to show you guys my outfit that I put on. So at this point of the day, I would usually get dressed and like do my makeup, but since I'm sick today and I'm just gonna be inside editing, there's no way I'm gonna do that. So I just put on these brown sweatpants. They're from Brandy Melville. And then this top is like the best shirt in the world. It's so soft and co cozy and it's from Abercrombie and Fitch. And it's my favorite long sleeve ever. But yeah, that's a little cozy, comfy, sick fit of the day. Sick fit, sick outfit of the day um, that we have on. So yeah, let's make some pumpkin pancakes. So I did some scrolling on Pinterest and I found these blender oatmeal pumpkin pancakes. It basically just consists of rolled oats, um, baking powder, salt, milk, pumpkin puree, and an egg, vanilla. I don't have like vanilla and it also says to add pumpkin pie spice. I don't have either of those, but it's fine. So I'm just going to make it with all the other ingredients. I'll link it down below for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so this is all the ingredients in the blender and now I'm just gonna mix it and yeah, I'm so excited. It was so easy. Here 
here's how the pancakes turned out. The whipping cream keeps falling off because it's so hot, but they look really good. Okay, let's do this taste test together. Cheers. I hope it's good. Definitely not the best pancakes I've ever had. They definitely taste on the healthier side, but they're not bad. I added coconut whipped cream and cinnamon, which really helps. But if you guys make this, I would suggest adding like a little bit more liquid than it calls for because the batter was really thick. So yeah, if you make them, make sure to add some more liquid and it'll help. It's good though with the whipped cream and everything. So now that I'm finished eating, I'm going to make a tea. I think that I'm going to do a chai tea. This is the brand that I'm going to be using. But yeah, chai tea just sounds really good right now, especially because I'm sick. Yeah, I've never actually tried this tea before. I just got it recently, but I'm excited. It just screams fall to me. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, let's put some boiling water in here. And then now I'm just going to let this um, seep for about like five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so I've never done this combo before with the pumpkin spice creamer and chai tea. I've actually never just had chai tea before as it is. So I don't know how this is going to taste. So we're going to taste this together. But it just like smells like fall. Oh wow, that is so good. It's nice to switch it up and not drink coffee every day too because I have to take a break from coffee just because I think it's really like upsetting my stomach and my stomach just has been out of whack these past few weeks and honestly kind of months. And so I stopped coffee for like a few days and it made a big difference and then I went back on coffee and then that made a big difference It really just destroyed my insides So I'm trying to do a cold coffee cleanse and not I'm gonna try to not drink coffee for like a month and see how my stomach does So it's nice finding like good alternatives But I will make an exception because I am going to get a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks I don't know if getting a decaf is gonna make a difference with how it processes in my stomach So if I have to get decaf I'll get decaf but like I have to get one spent about 20 minutes cleaning the kitchen and i'm honestly so exhausted but let me show you guys what i just made since this is like a healing vlog now apparently since i'm sick but hey it is flu season and it's cold season so i feel like this maybe can help some of you out if you guys are sick as well comment down below if you're sick because i feel like there's something going around anyways so i actually am making a chicken noodle soup right now so Right now I just have the broth going because I'm gonna make I'm making my own broth. So in here I just put um, celery, a few carrots, I put chicken thighs, and then a tomato, garlic, parsley, um, salt, pepper, um, oregano, and then after I added all that stuff into the pot, I literally just filled it with water. And then now I'm letting it boil for about an hour until everything is nice and cooked and then what i'm gonna do afterwards is i'm gonna remove everything and then i'm gonna cut the chicken up put it back into the broth and then cut the carrots up put it back into the broth and then remove oh there's also an onion in here so i'm gonna remove the onion remove the celery remove the tomato and then reuse the carrot and the chicken and then i'm gonna boil some noodles in here um, and then it's gonna make chicken noodle soup so yeah i just really wanted to make my own broth because i know it's super healthy and we're trying to get better so right now i'm just debating if i want to make a juice because cleaning the kitchen took something out of me like i am so exhausted because i'm sick i just like i just want to go lay it down but i also want to make a juice because yesterday i bought so many ingredients to make a juice because i don't want everything to get bad and i feel like if i put it off another day i'm just not going to do it so may as well <laughs> just do the juice now so that we can have so many healthy concoctions going we'll have our chicken noodle soup and then we'll have my juice and it's just going to be a healthy day yeah i'm just going to do it get it over with and then i can relax afterwards i bought so much stuff yesterday to make a juice i got all this celery which is too much for me i might give some away to britney or something but i wanted to get this pack because it was all pre-cut and pre-washed so it makes it so much easier and i got this kale left over i got so many carrots and then i got this huge cucumber that i want to juice i even can juice some beets this is all my dad's garden and then i'm definitely going to add some ginger 
ginger in there and then i also got so many apples to juice as well so yeah this is gonna be a good juice i'm excited So I just finished the green juice and it's actually red because I put beets in it from my dad's garden But there was so much I did I had no container to put it in that was this big So I just used a smoothie cup for now and then I'll eventually put that on the fridge But it's fine for now and then over here. I just finished the soup and it looks so good I'm gonna have a bowl right now and I finally get to Relax. I'm so excited. I'll need a bowl of chicken noodle soup. It, it's so good I can't even explain. And then I got my juice. We're feeling healthy.